All right, before we get to film, I think I gotta get something off my chest. I wanna make sure that we're all on the same page. I do not want you to leap the pressure of having to win a game for my wife or for me. You could not win enough games to make me love you anymore. You could, you could lose every game this season and I would still love you just as much and so would she. This is not about wins and losses. Special teams, let's go! Special teams, let's go! On the hop. It would be easy to believe for Blake Anderson this season is only about loss. It's not. It's about living through faith and family in memory and legacy. I miss her every minute of every day. But if you gave her the choice of being here with her family or knowing that she could touch the lives of thousands by her death, she would have told you that the cost is worth it. As much as it was The Voice. I look like a ragamuffin, but I did just download this. You want to meet my dog? It was the smile and selfless spirit that most defined Wendy Anderson. It's Mama Wendy, because she had that way of being able to make you feel like you're her son. After eight different schools and 22 years of marriage, in 2014, Blake got his first head coaching job at Arkansas State. The Red Wolves won the conference in 2016, but just months later, life would change. During spring break, she'd gotten sunburnt, put on aloe vera, and she found a lump. And she tried to kind of talk herself out of what it might be. What were you told? We're told that it's it's the most aggressive form of breast cancer that there is. It's very rare. And it's we got to get serious about attacking it. They did. And by the 2017 season opener at Nebraska, Wendy was cancer free. Thank you for this. I was not expecting this. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're going to go kick Nebraska's ass. We're thinking we, we beat it. We're thinking, miracle, and we're gonna make it. A little more than a year later, the cancer returned. By January 2019, doctors found five tumors, one pressing against her brain. My initial thought was, she's 48 years old and I'm about to lose my wife and we gotta figure out how to do this. It's not supposed to happen that way. I didn't, I didn't want him to go through it. It was about him and his kids. Um, and you just feel helpless. As Blake and their three children prayed, Wendy fought. Through rounds of radiation, cycles of chemotherapy, constant pain, as her weight dipped to 90 pounds. Like my bald head. <laughs> he's gonna have to stop doing a bunch of stuff for me because he's not gonna make it through camp if he doesn't. Four days after her 49th birthday, August 19th, Blake took an official leave of absence from the program that morning. Wendy died that night. You just don't want there to be anything unsaid. I love you. That's it. I wanted her to know I love you. Um, and she got to say it back. Those are the last three words I got from her, and I just feel that's a gift that, that I wasn't promised. For days, I kept thinking she was going to walk around the corner. I kept thinking the phone was going to ring. It took a good week for me to realize she's not coming back in. She's gone. And when you realize that, you lay down and you cry for a while because you're not ready for it to be there. 
19 days after Wendy's death, Blake walked into a team meeting unannounced. I could hear her telling me, you need to get back to the guys. You need to get back to the family. You need to get back to what you love. Life's got to continue. That night, Arkansas State beat UNLV by 26. Good job, good job. Every win we've ever had, I want to celebrate with her. Every loss, she was the one that got me through it. It hit home really quick. She's not going to be there. You're going to have to figure this one out on your own. On his own, yes but with so many to help at home. This is this and that and that. <laughs> in the locker room. Together, one, two, three, together, let's go. Even in the visiting stands. Blake Anderson isn't losing. He's coaching, leading, living the best he can. The only thing I can think of that gives me any peace at all is just knowing that the reward that is waiting for her in heaven. I know she's getting it. I know she has it now. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.